Hi, and thanks for watching. This is Linda Bartolucci with InkStampAndScrap.com, and today I'm going to show you how to make this gift card holder with a little belly band. And when you open it up, the gift card pops up right there, and you can always close it back up again. You can certainly stamp it and add more to it, but today I just want to show you the basics of how to get this put together. So to make this, you need to start with the base. I'm going to use crumb cake cardstock, and I need a piece that is 4 by 11. So I'm going to cut that on my trimmer, and then I need to score that at 3 inches for starters. I'm going to move my cutting blade all the way up, bring my scoring blade in. I'm going to score it at 3, score it at 4, score it at 5, score it at 6. Then I'm going to open up the arm because I still have two score marks to make. Wait, this thing is tight. Oh, sorry. There we go. Okay. Seven. And ten and a quarter. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is fold all of this up on the score lines do, 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 do. and I'm going to use my bone folder yep yeah, that's right okay this section just didn't look quite as big as that one and they need to be the same size but they are so now we're good so I'm just going to use my bone folder to make sure that these score marks are going to hold when I put this together for you in the video today um, I'm going to use snail just to make it go faster but I definitely would encourage you to use sticky strip on this one because um, otherwise it will definitely fall apart so I'm going to corner around the two corners here and then I'll show you the, and then I'll tell you, or sorry, I'll tell you about the pieces that we're going to add to this. We are going to add um, very vanilla cardstock that is cut three and seven, or sorry, three and a quarter inch wide. This is four and a half, so I'm going to cut this at three and a quarter, and this is going to be um, the belly band. And I'm going to have to use two sheets of this, so I'll get plenty for the belly band, and I'll um, put that together at the very end. So I'm going to have, um, in my very vanilla, I'm going to have four sheets that are three and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. I'm going to have two sheets that are three and seven eighths by seven eighths and one sheet that is one, um, or sorry, three and seven eighths by three by three quarters of an inch. So I've already started putting this one together. I have the large ones on and the smaller one here. So now um, I'm going to show you exactly where to put your adhesive to get the part where the card sticks right there. So what you want to do is first you're going to you're going to sticky or you're going to snail in this case, but you would use sticky strip the outside because you want to make a mountain for your card holder. So you're going to do that one. And I'm just using a lot of snails so it stays together for me and that one and that gives me this little opening here and then what I'm going to do I would put sticky strip right here on the side and right here on this side and put it together and then that leaves just a little opening for the card to go right in there so now let's finish um, decorating this remember my vanilla is cut at three and seven eighths and I cut my um, car or my designer series paper at three and three quarters so everything fits on real nice there are four of these two for the inside two for the outside I'm going to flip it over and then after you finish doing these you're going to do the little pieces and then I'm going to show you how to put the belly band together because that's going to be the part that you need a little more direction on. Everybody's good at lining stuff up and layering. 
All right, there we go. So now we have the basic part of it. Um, I'm going to take my um, small short strips and I have my vanilla cardstock that's made to go on these ones. All right, so that looks lovely. Now, the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to, we need a piece of designer series paper to decorate that, but we also need our belly band. So remember when I cut, I started out with a four and a quarter piece by six and a half, six and a half by four, sorry, by four and a half, that's how big the Festival of Prince paper comes. And that leaves me with two little pieces of six and a half by one, or sorry, by three quarters to um, make my belly band. So the belly band is going to be three quarters of an inch. Now, six and a half doesn't quite make it all the way around, but what I want to do is I want the front of the belly band to look really nice. So I'm going to fold it over here and I'm going to fold it over here and then I end up with this little, it's, it's so close, but not close enough for adhesive. So all I really need to do, I'm just going to set that aside, is I need about two inches here in order to make this work. Oops, sorry, scoring it doesn't help. Two inches in order to make this work. And that's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to take a little bit of snail. And I'm actually going to keep it wrapping around my, um, my gift card holder. And I would definitely, as I said, definitely you should do this with um, sticky strip. So I have that side. I'm going to turn it around. Remember I've already got my fold there because I've wrapped it around. So it's folding and going this way. So what I want to do now is I want this to be on top. So I'm going to take some sticky or some snail, sorry, and I'm going to finish it off just like this. Now it gets a little lost in the pattern there. So I'm going to, I'm going to slide it off and just make sure that it's all lined up nice. The example that I showed you, I used a different pattern for the belly band. I used the inside pattern. I just wasn't too happy with the way this inside pattern with the polka dots looked with the outside pattern. It just made it um, just too busy to me. So that's why I kept the outside pattern the same. All right, so now my belly band works just fine and it slides on there. You want it to be pretty tight because it's got to hold it together, but you want to be able to get it on and off. So now what I can do is decorate the last piece. So I need my cutter one more time. I need the um, designer series paper is three and three quarters long. So I need to cut that to three and three quarters. And I only need, oops, where'd that other piece go? Oh, it must have fallen off. Um, I, I need three and three quarters and I only need five eighths for the width. So I'm going to put this at a half and then an eighth and there we go. Oh, try to make it straight. Oh, there's that other piece. Look at that. Okay, so now what I can do is add a little snail to that three and three quarter by five eighths piece and then we are set. Oh, I really should corner round this as well since I corner rounded everything else. Okay, so now this is corner rounded too. And there we go. So now you have a pattern for yet another gift card holder. Here was the original one, and this is one that uses the same side of the paper for the whole thing, so it gets a little more elegant, I think, when you do that. And the first one is just a little more whimsical, but either is just fine. So I hope you give this pattern a try and use it for the holidays or the next birthday that you need to give a gift for. Have a great day. If you wanna play
Baby, get up out of place It'll take creation, imagination Try to draw outside the line 